Will rent to rent work in a recession? Let's find out. Hello, my name is Mark Fitzgerald, and it's fantastic to have you joining me here today. So, a question I keep getting asked, particularly at the moment with the way the current climate is will rent to rent work in a recession? Let's cover this off. Let's actually put a pin in this and move forward. So rent to rent itself is a great strategy. It is where you take hold of a landlord's property and you manage it realistically as if it's your own. You can do serviced accommodation, holiday lets, or if it's an HMO, you can do HMOs with it and let it out room by room. We don't predominantly do this on single let properties unless we're doing the serviced accommodation strategy because there's not a lot of money in it. Um, what do I mean by that? Well, of course, landlords uh, who let the property out to a family will just get one load of rents coming in. And there's not always a lot of room in there for you to take all the liability on and do it. That's why we do it with either HMOs or with serviced accommodation. But we're now heading in or we're in. We're not heading into it now, are we? We're in a recession. So will it still work? Well, let's look at a few things. Number one is when people have their jobs cut sometimes they need to look for cheaper living so if you're an hmo operator hmos are normally stop gaps for people now some people live in them and are happy and fine but a lot of people are in a relationship they split up rather than getting a flat or another house and having a massive expense sometimes they just like to rent a room out and by renting a room out it gives them six months maybe 12 months stop gap to see, A, if they can find something else, maybe get back with their partners or maybe anything like that. Also, people that lose their jobs, recession time, tend to wanna have more cost-effective living. I know a lot of people and a lot of my tenants themselves actually love HMOs. They love living in there because the bills are included. They know exactly what they're spending week on week, month on month, and it's easy for them to manage their lives. So when a recession comes along, and people lose their jobs and things. Some of them will still obviously keep their jobs, but will look to save a bit of money just in case they get made redundant or they get laid off or anything like that. Now, if you've got tenants and you're worried about them getting laid off, we have universal credit in, in, in every area. So at the end of the day, we are very proactive in helping any of our tenants who potentially find themselves on rough times or in a bad patch filling in the universal credit, making sure that we help and support them. That way they have peace of mind that the, where they're living is all paid for and they're happy with that. They can, it's safe in the knowledge, they can go out there and find a new job and things. And of course, we still get paid as well. So we work with the tenants, we work with people to help them. Now, if you're looking at doing serviced accommodation as well, that is a fantastic recession sort of, I wouldn't say recession proof because that's the wrong words, but that is a great strategy to be offering landlords in a recession and also with the hike of the interest rates as well so some landlords are getting squeezed some landlords with their single let properties are really finding a pinch at the moment with the interest rates going up and maybe they've got mortgages and their mortgage terms are coming to the end of, of those uh, agreed slotted times so now they've got these new interest rates and as a single let the numbers don't stack. What do I mean by the numbers don't stack? Well, potentially you can rent the property out, but you can't actually make what you're paying on the mortgage. Now, if that is the case, and there are more and more landlords like this with single let properties, we can offer them, and we do offer them, the chance to be managed by us. We take the property on, we can pay them over the odds on rent if need be, but we too do try and keep it to market sort of um, standards. We can work with the landlord as a 50-50. So basically you cannot do a rent to rent deal on a property if you're going to offer them less than it actually costs them to have the property. They might as well sell it. Okay. So if that is the case and you're thinking to yourself, listen, I can't offer them the market rent on the property because it's not going to cover their costs. But then I'm looking at doing rent to rent. You can structure deals and we train and teach people how to structure deals in such a way that it's a win-win situation. It's a win for the landlord, it's a win for you. And you can basically work together. The landlord can have all their costs covered and potentially make some money. You haven't got to have all the liability like you would with a rent to rent and you can either manage it or you can do a JV with them. But you need to know how to structure it and you need to know how to put yourself out there. But there's a lot of landlords at the moment 
who are out there who are struggling. And if you are struggling yourself and need help, then visit thepropertyunleashed.com and download the free tools and resources we have there. We have a 10 step rent to rent guide. We have a 10 step service accommodation guide and we have a free deal analyzer as well that you can download and some master classes to help you. And if you do need real good help and support, we have the Rent to Rent Business Builder training program and the, the ultimate service accommodation training program as well that can help you grow and build a sustainable business even in a recession. So do check those out. But at the end of the day, we want to be helping people. We've got to be property problem solvers in what we're doing, in how we're trying to achieve our goals. And if we can do that and we can solve people's problems, then we will find deals and we will grow our business and what goes around comes around in life. So we can work with landlords, we can work with agents, we can help people potentially earn more on their properties than they currently are in these tricky times by serviced accommodation. And if it's HMOs, we will get the tenants in, we can make sure that the landlords are looked after, but you've got to make sure that the numbers stack. You've got to make sure it's a win-win and it's not all one-sided. And if you go into an HMO deal, or potentially you're looking at it, and the landlord just needs too much money because their mortgage has gone through the roof, be prepared to walk away. Okay, don't just take a deal on because it's a deal. If the numbers don't stack, don't do the deal. I always say a deal is not a deal unless it's a deal. It's as simple as that. The numbers need to stack. It needs to work for everybody and you need to make your profit. They need to be able to make their profit or whatever it is they're looking for. But we can always see if we can solve those problems. So in a rising market of interest rates, in a recession, this strategy works very, very well. In fact, it probably almost works better in these troubled times than it does when everything's swimming and the housing market's fine and rent properties are just being rented as quick as you like. You know, at the moment there's doubt, there's problems, there's issues. That's a fantastic time for somebody that knows what they're doing, that is educated in what they're looking at doing and is moving themselves forward and building their business. Again, make sure you know exactly what it is you're doing and if you need any help and support with that, feel free to reach out to me on social media channels. Also, leave a comment if you have any questions. Come and join us in the Rent to Rent Business Builder Facebook group, the free Facebook group. There are two, but one's for my trainees only. That's a private group, and we have the open one, but I'm in both. So come and ask me any questions, and I'll help and support you any which way, shape, or form. I won't message you, but feel free to message me, and then we can have a chat. The only reason I don't message you is because there's a lot of other accounts out there trying to be me that will try and sell you some sort of cryptocurrencies or something like that. If it is the case and somebody is doing that, it's not me. Uh, it is annoying, but that's how things go. But yeah, you can certainly build a sustainable, successful rent to rent business in a recession. I hope this episode's helped you and you keep moving forward, focusing on your dreams, focusing on those goals and pushing yourself forward. Bye for now.